Welcome everybody to Metal Mastermind. I'm your host, Ken Candelis, and today we're going to take a look at some vocals. Now, what kind of vocals, you may ask? Punk rock, right? Because metal stems actually from punk rock, so when we're trying to mix vocals into our record, punk rock is actually also a good place to take a look at this kind of stuff. So today, I have a session for you, uh, similar to how I've done many of my other sessions, where we are going to compare different... Uh, brands making the same product. Now this is uh, an EQ modeled after MOG or MAG. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that right. But the EQ4 has been a staple in many studios all across the world. You know, you got singers like Celine Dion, um, you know, Beyonce, they've all use this EQ, but how does this stack up to metal and punk rock, right? So right now, um, I've got the EQ turned on uh, using the Antelope, and I'm, we're going to just kind of listen to the song. Uh, this is a song by a good friend of mine. His name is Joe Pop. It's called Legs of Cement, and it's, it features acoustic guitar and some vocals, and I thought this would be a great experiment to test the EQ on. Uh, and see if we can spot a noticeable difference between all of these um, different brands. Now, here's the thing. I put the same settings on all of these, so it should be the same sound. But, of course, like we tested with all of our other ones, uh, that's never always the case. So let's take a listen to the song, and then we'll start analyzing the vocals. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer I tried to explain as you try not to understand Needless pins Stab into my shins Please don't ask, no I don't want your reprimand Cruel slippery eels Poison in my sea one by one into potent cruelty I'm dying in this war Every word of energy spent Won't somebody take These legs of cement So this is a great tune. I love this because it's got a lot of energy. Uh, it's perfect for this experiment. So what is the th defining thing about the EQ4 when it comes to the mag? Well, the thing is, mag has this sort of proprietary thing where they call the sky or the air band. If you actually take a look at the far right of each of these plugins, you'll find that there is the air band or the sky band, you know, the antelope, they kind of, that's not exactly a mag uh, emulation. It's kind of their own version of it, but they call it sky instead of air. <laughs> kind of clever. So the air band, right, referring to the original, they go up to 40 kilohertz, okay? <laughs> so here's the thing. Nobody on the planet can hear 40 kilohertz, so why is it even relevant here? It's a good question. Well, here's the thing. With shelf EQs, Okay, with shelf EQs, we have a sort of ramp up to where we are targeting our point uh, on the EQ, which in this case would be 40 kilohertz. But there's always a ramp up, right? Whenever you work with a shelf or any EQ uh, parameter. And that's, that is what we call the bandwidth, the Q. It's going, the, the EQ plugin parameter is going to affect not just that frequency, but frequencies around that. So since 40 kilohertz is double 20 kilohertz, right? Um, it's actually quite close. <laughs> it doesn't seem close, but it is actually quite close to 20K in terms of 
relativity because it's it's only an octave above 20 kilohertz. So if you know, you know, C, D, that's an octave. So you can almost picture that just kind of at the borderline of our human hearing. That's what 40 kilohertz is going to be. So it's actually not as far outreaching as you might think, even though it looks that way. Now, funny thing about this, right? So we're talking about that there's a ramp up to the point where you actually have your EQ. The sky or the air band is supposed to affect basically the very high frequencies to give it just a little bit more sparkle, right? So you just got a little bit of a lift up in that range, which you don't really get with most other EQs, which is really cool. I like that about this. So we're actually going to kind of experiment with this a little bit. I've actually got the air band at 20, not at 40, not too much up in that range, but 20K is giving me a lot more bite. Uh, and with punk rock vocals, I kind of want to bring that out a bit more. So I've got also some boosting um, in two and a half kilohertz, uh, by about one dB, 650 hertz. I got a little bit of a boost there as well. Uh, about one dB, uh, 160 hertz. I got one dB subtracted, same thing for 40. And then I've got a plus three dB on the sub, just to give a little bit more body over to these vocals. And I've emulated that on all of the parameters. And now let's take a listen to just the vocals on their own without any of the plugins. And then we're gonna assess. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. As you can hear, um, with these vocals, uh, he's got a lot of angst and aggression in that timbre. There is some problematic frequencies in the low region. That's why I took uh, some of them out. Um, and then I kind of filled it back in with a little bit of just the underlying fundamental just to give more oomph back into his voice. I didn't want to take all of it out. Okay, so let's listen to uh, Plugin Alliance. Uh, this is a plugin that does not require, this is the only plugin in the three that I'm reviewing here that does not require you to have hardware DSP components attached to your system. Because like before, Universal Audio and Antelope, they require you to have their proprietary gear to use their plugins, which is kind of a uh, not so popular selling point to them, right? Uh, of course, if you are within that you know ecosystem, this works very well for you. And uh, But the takeaway is that you're getting a better quality plugin or what you're paying for. So let's put that to the test, right? Plugin Alliance, you don't need any of that fancy schmancy stuff. Uh, and I wanna see how it's gonna stack up against the other stuff that these guys are going for. Uh, one thing I also wanna note is that Plugin Alliance and Universal Audio are both licensed by MAG, so you can see that. Uh, but Antelope is not, it is their own version. So we're going to actually hear something a little bit more, I guess, uh, different. <laughs> there's there's gonna be a bigger difference when listening to the Antelope versus these other guys. Uh, so these two, uh, between the Plugin the plug Alliance and the Universal Audio is gonna be a little more of a subtler difference, okay? But let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of this vocal with the Plugin Alliance. I just wanna see what we're getting out of it. I'm gonna turn on the, uh, plug in at least maybe one bar of the verse into it okay and then we'll listen to it as a whole did i stammer get me a jackhammer i'll try to explain as you try not to understand here's with plug in alliance needless pins stab into my shins Please don't ask, no, I don't want your reprimand. Wow. So immediately already more, more harshness on his vocal, right? More upfront pronounced in your face with that body, 
love this plugin. This is why this is a staple for vocals. <laughs> I love it. Um, all right, let's do another comparison. Let's listen to the mag on the Plugin Alliance versus the Universal Audio and see if we can hear a difference, right? So I'm gonna play the Plugin Alliance first and then I'm gonna switch over to the Universal Audio. So here's the Plugin Alliance. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. Needless pins. Stab into my shins. Please don't ask. No, I don't want your reprimand. Interesting. Okay. So one thing that I immediately noticed was that the Plugin Alliance version was sharper. <laughs> it definitely had a little bit more of a piercing quality to it. It's hard to pinpoint, but... Man, the Universal Audio one just sounded smoother. I could tell immediately. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to choose another part of the song. I'm going to just keep going forward. And I'm going to play the Universal Audio part. And then I'm going to switch over to the Plugin Alliance. Go. So here we go. Cruel slippery eels. Poison in my sea. Distilled one by one into potent cruelty. I'm tying in this world every watt of energy spent. Won't somebody take these legs of cement? Okay, so right in the middle of all of that, and sorry about the motorcycle, by the way, that was not on the recording, that's on my end. <laughs> um, so right in the middle of those two uh, verses, uh, those two bars, I switched over to the Plugin Alliance and it lost some fullness and it gained some more piercingness. It really, I, I really do believe that. Let's listen to again from the beginning. I'm gonna play it from Universal Audio one more time into the Plugin Alliance. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. Now plug in alliance. Needless pins. Stab into my shins. Please don't ask. No, I don't want your reprimand. Man, I didn't think these would be that far apart, but they, they kind of are, man. Like, it's kind of pretty apparent. Um, okay, not a problem, though. Still something you can work with. It's not going to be the end of the world, but my gut tells me I like the Universal Audio better. For now. <laughs> so, let's use the Plugin Alliance as our reference, because that's what we've been doing. And let's compare that with the Antelope, okay? So first we're going to listen to the Plugin Alliance, and then it's going to be the Antelope. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. Needless pins stab into my shins. Please don't ask. No, I don't want your reprimand. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that, I think this is going to be a closer tie between the Universal Audio and the Antelope. Okay, so what's my verdict already? I'm already hearing the benefits of using the DSP versions. Well, you get what you pay for, right? So, <laughs> not to say that the Plugin Alliance is actually absolute crap. I actually think it's a very subtle difference. So if you're going to, you know, I mean, if you're comparing directly, it's a bigger difference. But if you're going to have this in your arsenal, who's going to know, right? <laughs> Only you <laughs> and me. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and play around with this. I want to listen to the how the antelope stacks up against the universal audio. I think this will be a more interesting comparison. Let's listen to the antelope and then I'll switch over to the UAD. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. 
Needless pins Stab into my shins Please don't ask, no I don't want your reprimand I gotta keep listening man Cruel slippery eels Poison in my sea Distilled one by one into potent cruelty I'm tying in this wall Every word of energy span Won't somebody take Okay, so what I'm hearing and correct me if I'm wrong but I, th I hear more mid-range come through with the antelope. Um, listen to it one more time. Especially that second half of the song, right? Or of that verse. Uh, I, I want to pay attention to that mid-range where you really hear more sort of clarity in the vocal. I feel like the universal audio kind of darkens it just a little bit. So it's a subtle difference. Take a listen. Here's going to be universal audio first, then antelope. Cruel slippery eels, poison in my sea, distilled one by one into potent cruelty. I'm tying in this wall, every word of energy span. Won't somebody take these legs of cement? But here's the thing. I don't hear like this sort of annoying harshness between any of these two. That's a really good thing. I felt like I, I, I heard a little more brittleness coming from the Plugin Alliance. This is kind of a little more subjective. So if you kind of like a little bit more of that mid-range, it's kind of coming through more with the antelope and the universal audio, uh, you might think sounds smoother. You know, it's just, uh, I think, a matter of taste at this point, right? So what's my final verdict? Well, listen, I'm always a fan of having you know, best bang for the buck. So Plugin Alliance definitely will already do that for you. But here's the thing, right? Plugin Alliance is one of the pricier side of the plugin market. So you're gonna play, you're gonna still be paying a premium for it. Now, if you don't have universal audio or antelope hardware, I think it makes more sense to go with the Plugin Alliance, of course, like any of my other videos have said, but that being said, uh, I just don't think the Plugin Alliance stacks up against these other two in this instance. And you know what? That's fine. It's a matter, they have different timbres and that's expected. And you might find in some instances that the Plugin Alliance works better than the others for the application that it's used, right? Maybe it's not so good on with these vocals, but maybe it'll be work. It'll work better on a different style of vocals or a different instrument, right? That's why we have these different colors uh, to play around with. My personal favorite, I think I like the antelope the best here. That's just subjective to me. I like a little bit more of that mid-range opening up. Uh, let's listen to it in context. I'm just gonna play uh, the first uh, couple bars with uh, each one of these, and you guys give me your final thoughts. So let's listen to the Plug and Alliance, then it'll go to the Universal Audio, and then it'll go to the Antelope, and then we'll call it a day. All right, here we go. Did I stammer? Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. Needless pins. Stab into my shins Please don't ask, no I don't want your reprimand Did I stammer? Universal audio? Get me a jackhammer I'll try to explain as you try not to understand Needless pins Stab into my shins Please don't ask, no I don't want your reprimand did I stammer? Antelope. Get me a jackhammer. I'll try to explain as you try not to understand. Needless pins. Stab into my shins. 
Please don't ask, no, I don't want your reprimand. All right. So let me know what you like the best. My personal favorite was the antelope. I thought it was the smoothest out of all three. Um, but again, that could be a subjective thing to me. Let me know what you think. And thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Metal Mastermind. Horns up, everybody.